In this video, I'll walk through an example of taking an integral where the answer is going to be in the form of an inverse trigonometric function. Now, you won't always just know that the answer is going to be in the form of an inverse trigonometric function, unless you've done a lot of these as practice, but this one will be. So what I'm going to do is give you the first, the derivative of an inverse trigonometric function, so you can see what that form looks like. And I know that this answer is going to have involved uh, the inverse tangent, so that's the one I'm going to show you. And, and there are plenty of inverse trigonometric functions, so certainly I could list them all, but I'm going to just list the one that we're going to use in this video, and, and then, you know, you could look up, of course, all of the other ones. So inverse tangent of u, the derivative of that equals 1 over 1 plus u squared. And then a lot of books do this. They say, we're taking the derivative with respect to x, but, but our variable is u, so remember to do the chain rule here. And, and I suppose it's a, it's a valid uh, reminder. It's, it is a valid reminder. We're taking the, the uh, derivative with respect to x, and the variable is u, so remember to do the chain rule. I think it's a little bit passive-aggressive, though, uh, as a reminder. We, we could just say, hey, what if we just said, remember to use the chain rule? Always use the chain rule. That is, if you've, if you've got some function in there, uh, or in here, I should say, uh, do the 1 over 1 plus u squared, and then, and then take the derivative of whatever this function is. So, so that's all this is saying. So in other words, I could, without messing this up too much, I could go ahead and say, what if this was in terms of u? I take the derivative with respect to u. Well, then I wouldn't have to worry about this, right? Because I'm already taking the derivative with respect to u. Okay, so this is what we're focusing on, this form. 1 over 1 plus u squared. Does this look like that? Well, we have a 1 plus so <laughs> in the denominator, so we're, we're getting close. Well, let's try this. What if, what if I let u equal e to the 3x? u equals e to the 3x. And now using u substitution, we, our next step is to take the derivative of that. So du equals 3 times e to the 3x. That's using the chain rule right here because the derivative of e to the 3x is e to the 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is just 3. Now we still have our dx, or now we have our dx floating around here. So this looks pretty darn close to what we need to substitute in for e to the 3x dx. But you're saying, wait a minute, you just said u was e to the 3x. Why aren't we going to plug in u right here? This is why. Let's do this over here. If e to the 6th x equals e to the 3x quantity squared, follow me on that, right? Because when you raise an exponential expression uh, to an exponent, you multiply the exponents. So e to the 3x and then that squared would be e to the 6x. Well, that's the same then as saying u squared. So instead of saying e to the 6x, I'm going to say u squared. And boy, doesn't that look just like what we want over here. Then we'll have our coveted 1 plus u squared in the denominator. So back to what's in green here. I want just the e to the 3x dx because that's what I'm um, that is what I am substituting in so I am going to divide by 3 so now I have 1 third du 1 third du equals what we want e to the 3x dx so here's what we have we have our e to the 3x dx and I'm going to plug in one third du for that. So let's do that right away. The integral of one third du 
putting du over here because I know I'm going to plug something in right here. So I've got that taken care of, e to the 3x dx. Now I want to plug in, instead of e to the 6x, I want to plug in u squared. So 1 over, I've got our 1 now because I've substituted this in. So I just have a 1 left. So 1 over 1 plus u squared. Okay. Now it fits this form. So we can just go backwards. Well, if the derivative of the inverse tangent of u is 1 over 1 plus u squared, then the integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared is inverse tangent of u. So I'll write that down. I'm going to change colors, and I'm going to go to 1 third. It's 1 third times the inverse tangent of u and then, of course, plus c. We always have our plus c, our constant. Ah, but the u, don't, don't forget this last step. u is e to the 3x. So, in the end, we have one-third inverse tangent of e to the 3x plus c. And that's our answer to that original integral that we had up here.